What's up guys, my name is Carlos Barreto. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel this week. For those of you who have subscribed and hit that notification bell button and are here because your notifications went off and told you I uploaded a video, thank you so much for clicking on that link and coming to my channel. If any of you guys just happen to stumble across my channel, welcome and thank you so much for clicking on the video. Today what I have for you guys is common hair mistakes guys make and how you should fix them. So I have a lot of information for you guys. If you guys are interested in this topic, give it a thumbs up. At the end of the video, if you have any questions, please let me know down below and make sure you comment. I'll answer everyone's questions. And yeah, so questions and concerns down below in the comment section is where you need to be. So let's go wavy hair gang, curly hair gang. What's your hair type? Comment down below, hashtag it. Go ahead and comment your hair type down below in the comment section so I'll know exactly what your hair type is and what to make videos on. So comment down below even now. It doesn't really matter what your hair type is and what you like about it. I'll start there. Let's go ahead and begin this video. The most common men's hair mistakes you're making and how to fix them. Let's go and talk about this now. So let's talk about hair. Hair seems super simple, right? And there's nothing that you need to know about your hair. That's such a bold lie because honestly, men's hair can be very tricky and sensitive from using the wrong product to using too much of the right product. And even understanding how you're maintaining it, so much can go wrong. This is why your hair is very sensitive, guys. One, we all have different hair characteristics. Number two, your hair god that you're trying to imitate just doesn't have the same hair type as you do. And also, number three, you just don't know your hair that well. Let's say your hair is a six cylinder motor. If you put diesel fuel in it, you're not going anywhere even if you fill it up. Aside from the products and your hair inspiration goals, whatever it is, I'm going to tell you the top mistakes you're doing and how to avoid them. The top mistake, using a two-in-one shampoo and conditioner. This is like blending your bagels and your cream cheese and all this stuff and say, calling it a really good bagel. It's not gonna happen, it never is. And to understand why this particular mistake is a serious mistake requires a little bit of science. Each strand of your hair on your head is covered by scales that is cuticles, that are called cuticles. And in order to properly clean your locks, these cuticles need to be opened up using shampoo to release any clingy pollution or product buildup. Now, a conditioner's job, on the other hand, is to moisturize and to close those cuticles. A single product cannot open and close the cuticle at the same time. This results in your hair that's squeaky clean, but the cuticles aren't closed, meaning your hair will pick up more pollutant and your hair will get dirtier quicker. Have you ever used a two-in-one I have and my hair feels super greasy, so much faster, which results me in having to wash my hair and you'll have to spend more money on product. So how to fix this? Find a dedicated shampoo and start shampooing at the beginning of your shower. After you wash and rinse thoroughly, apply a conditioner that is formulated for your hair type and leave in for the remainder of the shower. Don't forget to rinse it and wash out at the end. You can't forget that. This allows both products to absorb and take action that will allow your hair to have and feel like achievable hair, which is great. All shampoos are linked down below too, just off top. The other mistake is forgetting where your hair stands, your scalp. Like the phrase out of sight, out of mind, we tend to forget how important scalp care really is, which can be the root of a lot of issues like flakes, dandruff, irritation, and redness. Also, for those who enjoy a heavy high hold to greasy product, this is even more as important because failing to get rid of daily gunk can result in very dry hair, irritation, and like I said, dandruff, no one wants that. The fix, find a scalp treatment with the right ingredients and a product that does a job with gentle abrasion, something like jojoba beads that can gently scrub away any gross accumulation in your hair or a real deep thorough cleanser Consider it more as an involved treatment such as a scalp mask, which allows active ingredients to fully, fully absorb. You should know best, you know your scalp. The next mistake is having a hairstyle that doesn't sue you. Don't hate me guys, I know, I know. I've been there, I've done it, I've ran across that dope Instagram photo of that hairstyle that is definitely everything I was looking for, but the reality is that we are not all blessed with the same hair characteristics and thickness and waviness and pliability so we really have to be honest with ourselves before choosing a hairstyle or haircut. The fix, don't hold back on starting a proper conversation with your barber or your hairstylist. Communication is literally everything and a proper haircut isn't just showing up, sitting down, pay, tip for a very bad haircut that you hate, the feeling that you get in that chair, not good. I know, 
have a photo ready. Up the conversation by talking to what your hair does naturally, any kinks, any growth patterns that you do like or you don't like, and make sure that you draw awareness to the shape of your head and also your face shape. Also make sure you emphasize what you do want to keep and what you're okay with cutting off. For example, don't cut off the back, please. Don't cut off the back, make sure. Another mistake is using too much product. As good as a product might smell or emulsify in your hands, too much product is a real thing. Applying too much product is like putting too much sugar in your coffee, not enjoyable. There is a limit and you will also be able to notice that the functionality of your hair just goes away. You won't be able to style it, you won't be able to brush it, and you will have to shampoo it and condition it once again. The fix, make sure you are using a product that is for your hair type. If you're using a pomade for your extremely curly hair, it would be a little bit too much and hard to manage. You'll figure that out. But let's say you do have the right hair product. Simply apply a dime size to your hand, emulsify, apply. If you need more, you'll use more. Start off in the back and then move forward. Usually you'll need a little bit more here up in the fringe if you, depending on your hair type. But make sure you're paying attention as this is the final step and you can leave residue and some product that really wasn't broken down. And this is no time for amateurs, so make sure you're paying attention. Don't walk around with dry stuff in your hair. The next mistake is DIY hair dyeing. You bold gents. Dyeing your hair is already going to do some damage off top, but if you do not know what you're doing and knowing the right color tone, mixing, and having an understanding of the process, you might just need to go bald once your roots start coming in because if you're taking the same steps you are when you're shampooing to dye your hair, you're a savage and you're doing it completely wrong. The fix, you should definitely seek expert help. You're already dyeing your hair. The shame should definitely be out the window, so any question is a good question. On to the next mistake, cutting into your head instead of your sideburns. This is always awkward. Let's say you're letting your hair grow and you want to trim it yourself. This could result in having to cut your hair really short and having to forget about that hair growth challenge that people are doing nowadays. So how do you fix this? You really can't if you cut it. You have to stop by your barber to either get a low taper to blend it into your beard if you have one. And next time, make sure you try to use a guide or have a friend do it. The last mistake is tough to digest, holding on to what you don't have. I know this could be tough to accept, but letting the part of your hair grow that actually doesn't grow will only make room for the ball spots to show. You know, the longer it gets, the balder I get. The, the longer it grows, the balder I get. When in fact having more hair makes it more obvious. So the fix, embrace the next stage of your life. The hairstyle and the hairstyle to go with it. Try to take the top a little bit shorter at the front and ask your barber or your hair or your hairstylist for their opinion on ways that they could change the look to minimize the appearance of your baldness. You could even cheat it by, by using those fill in the gap products, making your hair appear a little bit more thick and fuller. There's a lot of options there, but these are the top mistakes that I see guys making with their hair. And now that you know, and you have the results, you could all fix it. Down below in the description, you'll find some links to my favorite, you'll find links to my favorite products. I'm going to have a variety of products down there just for every different hair type. So make sure you comment your hair type down below in the comment section because I really chose these products according to the comment section of last week's video. And you know, there was a lot more wavier people there. So wavier people get better things. So let me know down below in the comment section exactly what your hair type is. So I will know exactly who to make content for and also find products for everyone. So comment down below what your hair type is and also what is the most annoying part of your hair or what you love about your hair. So I'll see those down below in the comment section. Engage with you guys down there. Also, if you haven't followed me on Instagram, make sure you do so now. All my young spades, I see you guys on there. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Most common hair mistakes men make and how to fix them. Don't forget to put style on everything. I'll see you guys next week. My name is Brian Carlos Alberto. Much love. Follow me on Instagram. Peace.